this the announcement yesterday, I believe, is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, this is not the first time that a, a, a somebody from uh, India has in, India has been an in, Indian dip, diplomat has been kicked out of Canada uh, for foreign interference on the Canadian Sikh community. One of Canada's most prominent Sikh leaders says the news that India's government may have been involved in the killing of a prominent Sikh community organizer in British Columbia comes as no surprise. Joined by the National Council of Canadian Muslims, the World Sikh Organization says it's been warning for years about the rising danger of Hindu ultranationalism. If you cannot have an opinion about another foreign government, without having to worry about being wa of walking outside and worrying is there going to be a foreign agent that's going to gun you down in the streets, what's going on? So I have every confidence that the Canadian government will take all measures necessary to protect Canadian citizens. The World Sick Organization says not only must Canada find those who killed Hardeep Singh Niger, they must protect Sikhs in Canada at risk, stop sharing intelligence with India, and expand the foreign interference inquiry to cover India. The NCCM goes further, saying Canada must expel the Indian High Commissioner to Canada, recall our own, freeze trade negotiations, and ban the RSS, a volunteer Hindu nationalist organization they allege is connected to violence against religious minorities. In India, protests against Justin Trudeau as Canadian High Commissioner Cameron McKay is informed that a Canadian diplomat is being expelled after Canada's expulsion of an Indian diplomat Monday. India's Ministry of External Affairs issued a statement rejecting all allegations of any involvement in the murder, adding that these allegations are intended to shift focus from Khalistani terrorists and extremists, which they say are being sheltered in Canada and threaten India. Amongst many members of the Sikh community, they're, they're folks that have been warned about credible threats against their lives, and that despite those threats being made aware, they were not protected, and there wasn't a clear plan of protection. That's something that I'm deeply concerned about. I think the Prime Minister needs to come clean with all the facts. We need to know all the evidence possible so that Canadians can make judgments on that. And I will just emphasize that he... He didn't tell me any more in private than he told Canadians in public, so we want to see more information. Opposition leader Pierre Polyev notes that he hasn't been given any more information on the issue and is calling for more clarity from the Prime Minister, but no Conservative MP asked a single question on the topic during question period. However, a take-notice House of Commons debate on the killing of Niger is scheduled for Tuesday evening. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.